Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are here with the astrological forecast. We also have a quick card reading for you to talk about the day's energies right after this, so stay tuned. We are going to look at Venus and Virgo. The Empress has gone from her wild weekend and vacation with the Emperor. Lots of fun, lots of love making, having fun with children, whatever children they've had or they've conceived. But Venus is now back home. She's preparing the nursery. She's preparing herself for a period of time in which she will be very down to earth, working hard at creating beauty. Once again, Venus in Virgo is all about different artisans, their artistry, uh, painters. It's about craftsmen. It's a beautiful time to also get a makeover. And when we look at Venus and Virgo, Virgo's an earth sign, very conservative. Um, it's not time for like flashy, crazy, you know, oh, this is the rage this season. It's a time when you buy quality clothing. Uh, you, make, um, you make decisions based on the quality, the fabric, the drape, the cut. It's a time to go to take your clothes into that do not fit you into a tailor get them toned down get a collar narrowed but it's a beautiful time to be beautiful think about the women in Paris when they walk the streets it's elegant it's understated they're strikingly beautiful because you see the person the woman or the gentleman you know in their beautiful blue cashmere blazers with a white t-shirt underneath and a beautifully cut pair of jeans and a wonderful pair of leather shoes or moccasins. Really elegant. That's what the look is right now. So be practical in your selections and they will pay off big time, especially if you have a job interview. If you're doing any kind of presentation, it will behoove you to allow yourself to be the center of the focus of your fashion and allow your accessories and your fashion to really show off your best features. Now, for those of you who are in the workplace and that you are around an authority figure, whatever you do right now astrologically with the Sun and Mercury conjunct, it would be very easy to talk about your great vacation, your weekend away, how you got drunk. If you're young, you would maybe make that mistake. I don't think if you're older, you do to an authority figure. And what I'm saying is don't, don't, don't. This will come back to bite you. I won't go into the details of why it's a Pluto transit. It's people in authority who, when they get ready to do a corporate cutback, your name could be on the list. Well, you know, this person goes off and gets drunk and it, you know, doesn't have anything to do with your life. It doesn't, it could be once, but an authority figure would be very likely to take note of it right now. When we look at the energy of the moon as conjunct Jupiter, it is a very sweet time to spend time with those who may be in hospital, with those who you are close to, that you have a close attachment to. It's a beautiful time to spend time together. It's sweet, it's kind, it's loving, it's Pisces energy. It really speaks to the fact that time alone with loved ones, one-on-one, -on -one, lunch by yourself at the corner table, at the cafe is going to be beautiful today for anybody who has a chance to do that. For those of you who are singers, songwriters, those of you who are involved in film or in any way would like to have a, um, a, a good experience in terms of your ability to sell your services, you are in the golden age of performing arts. So work your art and let your art work for you down the road. For those of you who are Capricorn, you are Taurus, or you are Virgo, you are in your element right now because what we're seeing is the planet Uranus is Aquarius ruled. It is sitting in the sign of Taurus and it's very uncomfortable there. We are very uncomfortable as a collective with Uranus and Taurus because basically Uranus is 
that that lightning strike, that moment when you don't know what's going to happen. It's the fool. It's a new beginning of a lot of technologies that are going to be very focused around banking, our earned money, that the way you earn money will be very involved in a lot of having to learn to do things new ways. It's not comfortable, but it does bring in the age of Aquarius and we are going to enjoy the benefits. So don't fight the technology. It is really all about right now how to infuse within the framework of old values, traditional values, things that we know work for us to be able to integrate the technology and innovation into that. And our earth signs will be a little, Taurus is a little resistant to change but Taurus is being forced to change. <laughs> and what we see when we look at Virgo and Capricorn, they're much more active, they're much more willing to change, they're much more willing to embrace the technology. Now, for everybody who is a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Leo, or an Aquarius, it does look as though all of you will do quite well with the technology, but you will find that there will be bugs, that there will be systems that take a while to actually integrate into your life. So it's like when the boss comes up and says, oh, we have new computers for everybody, and you go, yay! And then something didn't go right in the layout or the design of the product, and it takes time to work through that process. What we are seeing is a very good day ahead. We really see Venus and Mars are still conjunct. Mars is in Leo. Mars is now stretching and saying, you know, I had a great time. I had great fun. I made a lot of love. I did a little dance, and I got down last night. And now it's time to take a little nap and uh, to get ready for a wonderful month ahead in which we will all be on emotional vacation with the sun and Leo. So I want to welcome, I want to say happy birthday all of, to all of my Leo friends. Uh, a special shout out to someone with a birthday tomorrow, a friend of mine, uh, Daryl, who is in Washington, D.C. Another of my beautiful viewers is a Leo. Julia, happy birthday. I know it's coming up in a few days. Let's take a look at a tarot spread designed to help us with knowing what direction we should head or focus on for today. So let's see what the cards say. We are using the Crow's Tarot. I'm very excited. It's a brand new deck. The Empress card is at the bottom. Oops. The Empress card is at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful energy, overall energy, manifesting. All right. So let's see what the first card out is on the Celtic. Four of Swords. You need more rest today. Make sure if you need a nap, you take a nap. If you need to go to bed early, you go to bed. It also speaks to the fact that you, if you have an injury or something that you think is going wrong physically, get to the doctor, make the appointment today, and get in as soon as you can. For those of you who are in a state of exhaustion or depression, you will have the ability to block out, to really just be in this knowledge that you are about to make some really big decisions. It is kind of exhausting when you think about it, when you make a very big life decision. But for many of us, we are at a turning point. We need to go in a new direction. We need to make a commitment. We need to commit to one path or the other. That's usually the, the winding road separating in the middle. So it really says that many of us are feeling a little bit overwhelmed about those choices. And right now, when you don't know what to do, I always suggest don't do anything until you get a really strong intuitive feeling and then you do your research. So what's bringing you to the reading today is the Ace of Swords, a desire for clarity, uh, the desire for kind of just figuring things out and feeling very comfortable with the decisions you make. It's really asking the universe to bring in knowledge and you know signs so that we can see them about our next step in life. We have the energy of the one, two, three, four, five swords. So for many of you, you are, you've had some sort of argument. The message is really that somebody has been a bit unfair with you. Somebody has been impatient. Somebody may have even been unkind in your personal life and it is causing you to wonder if the relationship is what you need for it to be. 
now oh the crowning energy the best that can happen is a relationship in which you have total joy because it has a spiritual core it's the ability for hopes and dreams for love to come true it is a star card it is about healing relationships healing old issues and moving on to a beautiful new version you know it's like when we get a new computer a new phone but this is so much more important because it really relates to your joy your happiness it truly is with this empress card the manifestation of love of both a spiritual sensual pleasurable um, abundant uh, energy it's uh, it's really gorgeous okay so in the near future later today we can expect the eight of coins working and being productive today is going to go very well for you for those people who are writing or working on a project I would say, you know, if you can get to it by noon today, if you can really focus for a good hour, hour and 20 minutes, it's a number eight. I add a zero for 80. That's how I do it. And I just see it being very productive. So if you have a closet, if you have some one thing, you know, one thing you'd really like to focus on, Venus and Virgo is going to help you do that right now. And you're going to feel so rewarded by it. It's going to feel great. In terms of how you're feeling in your life and the way you're presenting yourself, we get the Queen of Pentacles energy. You are stable, you are productive, you are making money, you're taking care of yourself. If you're a mother or somebody in the workplace who's a manager, you are doing all of the right stuff. You are nurturing yourself and the world to good end. It is Capricorn energy. It shows a lot of fruitfulness in the work and the career environment today. The five of the five of wands so for some of you i really keep getting this five the five of swords a five of wands we're seeing some really strong sense of competition around you and around all of us the five of wands is usually a very ego driven uh confrontational person so you could simply walk into your local coffee shop and ask for something and see someone sort of causing a scene with a barista you know it could be that simple i don't really take the five of wands too seriously because it's ego driven and you know just blow it off i really think it's energy that just says do not get involved you will be in the middle of the fight if you try to help somebody so stay out of it and don't start anything yourself which i do not think you will do if you're at this channel this morning or today i know that there, we have some beautiful people in europe that tune in thank you so we have the two of swords, meaning that what you fear is indecision, what you fear is a lack of information today. And I would say that worry is a little bit, we have a lot of intellect, you're intellectualizing maybe perhaps too much. What I would say is to get out of your head with all this air sign energy, because we have a lot of it. Um, I would say get out of your head and be physically uh, doing things that are going to allow you to beautify your space that Virgo energy Venus and Virgo is very helpful right now not talking on the phone not having any important discussions about what you need to work out with people uh, things are likely to fall into disarray or an argument if you try to solve anything right now in this moment your outcome, beautiful outcome three, the three of coins, collaboration. Life is going to, it's going to be a good day. In essence, the three of coins says that in any way that you work collaboratively with another person, you can create something that is greater than what the two of you could create as individuals. So working in a team environment is very much uh, desirable right now. So if you have a contractor coming to your house, be clear about what you want. If you have a friend that you're, you know, you're doing, a backyard project it's going to go beautifully but it's a beautiful time for uh, including others in a project of some sort so for those of you who are homeowners who are renovating it's a fabulous day for that kind of planning working with an architect and collaborating but anything you collaborate with today will go very very well again stay out of your head keep it grounded keep it solid keep it moving and do practical things because that is where the joy is at for today put on that great music while you're doing something with the leo energy dance around you know 
Dress conservatively if you do a makeover. Look at the understated, very luxurious values that some designers put out there and stick with that look for best outcome. So that is your information for today. It's been a joy being with you and a pleasure. I feel very honored that you spend this time with me. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye.